What's up guys, my name is Ace, and today we're going to be comparing the Awareness perk with the Dead Silence perk, and we'll also look at the relationship that they have with each other. This is all recorded after the patch that happened, I believe in February, it might have been March, I can't really remember exactly. But in this patch, Treyarch never actually mentioned the sound was changed, but I noticed a big difference the day the patch came out. So I can't 100% confirm that the sound of footsteps was buffed, but I'm very confident that it was, and I've actually talked to a bunch of other people that feel the same way. Alright, so let's start it off by listening into the sound of footsteps when neither you nor your enemy are using awareness or dead silence. So I'm sure you can tell that the footsteps were quite clear and easy to hear without any of the typical background noise that would be going on in a real game. So now let's hear what it sounds like when you still don't have awareness but the enemy has dead silence on. Unless you have your headset cranked way up, there is no way you're going to hear that enemy. Even with my Triton AX Pros turned up really loud, I can only hear a very faint footstep and there's no way I'd actually hear that in a game with all the background noise that would be going on. So up next, let's listen into what footsteps sound like when you have awareness and your enemy does not have dead silence on. In this case, the footsteps can be heard quite clearly even if there's some background noise going on. An interesting thing to point out though is that awareness doesn't necessarily increase the volume of the footsteps, instead it changes the tone to a much more distinctive and higher pitched tone. Let's listen to the difference. The first sound clip that I'm going to show will be without awareness and the second will be with awareness. So as you can tell, it's a very different sound and this really helps you distinguish between your teammates footsteps and the enemy's footsteps when you have awareness because awareness doesn't actually alter the sound of a teammate's footsteps, only the enemy's footsteps. So finally, let's see what happens when you put awareness against dead silence. In this clip, you have awareness on and the enemy has dead silence on. Let's have a listen. If you didn't notice this already, these footsteps sound exactly the same as the footsteps when neither you nor your enemy had awareness or dead silence on. So these two perks pretty much cancel each other out. The one thing that still gives the dead silence user an advantage in this case though is the fact that his character will not make callouts when performing actions such as reloading or using equipment. Transitioning! Insertion point on my mark. Sticky F! Having awareness on will not allow you to suddenly hear a callout from a dead silence user because his character simply does not make the sound. So one last thing to do with sound that has nothing to do with these two perks but I thought it would be really appropriate to include is how you can make your bomb plants and diffuses significantly harder to hear. You search and destroy veterans probably already know this but this is for those of you that may not. Now normally when you plant or diffuse a bomb the enemy will hear you open the case and start pressing buttons that are quite loud like this. As you can tell, it's quite easy for an enemy with a headset to hear you if you're planting or diffusing that bomb. If you spin around while planting or diffusing, the enemy will still hear you open the case but they will no longer hear you pressing those loud buttons for the duration of the plant or diffuse. Let's hear what that sounds like. This works in both demolition and search and destroy, but obviously it's much more useful in search and destroy because there's a lot less background noise. So that's all I have for this video. I really hope you guys were able to learn something new about the sound in this game. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll talk to you guys next time.